Butterfly is the most physically demanding stroke in swimming, so I can almost guarantee that you're doing it wrong. Here's how to fix your fly so you can swim it more quickly and with much less effort. Like breaststroke, the key to a good butterfly is getting the timing right. Some swimmers think that the kick and the pull shouldn't be performed together, but that's not true. For every one pull you take in butterfly, you should be executing two equally sized kicks at the right time. A great example of the correct timing in butterfly is shown by British record holder James Guy. He takes one kick exactly when his arms exit the water, and the other one when his arms enter again. The most common error swimmers face while swimming fly is incorrect body position, specifically your head position and your hips. Let's start with how your head moves in fly. When you don't want to take a breath, make sure to be looking straight down at the bottom of the pool, with your chin almost touching your chest to reduce the drag. When you do want to breathe, you mustn't exaggerate the movement. All you need to do is extend your neck forward for a fast breath and then snap it back down quickly to maintain a low profile and stay flat on the water's surface. I see lots of swimmers lifting their heads too high during the breath phase and this causes the hips to sink whilst also creating a ton of drag. Remember not to use your entire upper body to lift your head out of the water. Another common issue in fly is how swimmers focus on undulating too much, moving up and down rather than going forwards. As long as you maintain a good body line, maximizing your forward momentum, you will naturally move up and down while traveling faster as well. Caleb Dressel demonstrates a perfect butterfly recovery motion above the water. His arms stay relaxed but fully straight as he quickly swings them through the air. Make sure that when your hands enter the water after the recovery, they are no more than six inches apart. Otherwise, you can't pull the maximum amount of water. When pulling under the water during the fly stroke, your wrist should be slightly bent downwards so you can begin catching the water straight away. During the actual pull, the arm should be bent but not too much. Focus on bringing both arms back in one simple motion, drawing a bit of an S shape underwater. Throughout the whole cycle, make sure to point your toes straight back. Not only does this reduce the drag by 9%, but it also allows you to get a better feel for the water, so you can maximise the power from each kick. It's very important to have flexible ankles when swimming any stroke, especially fly. When you watch some of the best fly swimmers, they have the same level of ankle mobility as a ballerina. You can achieve this level of flexibility by regularly performing ankle exercises, some even as simple as sitting on your knees like this. Most swimmers forget a vital part of the butterfly kick that helps reduce drag a lot, and it's making sure you keep both your knees and your feet locked together while you perform the kick above the water. Separating your feet and your knees creates a large hole for water to pass through, basically ruining your entire slipstream. For an effective fly kick, you also need to remember that your core muscles are more important than your legs. Having a strong core will enable you to get that whip effect when performing both the up and down kicks in fly. The best core muscle exercises include sit-ups, planks, dead bugs and flutter kicks. Once you've improved your core strength, your hip should have an easier time staying on the water's surface. Just like in breaststroke, the greatest fly swimmers are able to keep their hips high on the surface throughout the whole stroke, just like Sarah Sjostrom in this clip. Finally, it's important to find a breathing pattern that works for you. I recommend taking some time to experiment in training to find a pattern which you feel comfortable doing in a race. If you don't know where to start, I'd advise breathing every 4 strokes when swimming a 50 fly, every 2 strokes when swimming a 100 fly, and every single stroke during a 200 fly or 400 IM. I hope you've learned how to take your butterfly to a whole new level. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe, and if you need help fixing your breaststroke, check out the link in the pinned comment. But until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!